Good morning. Today we're going to Governor's Harbor. Let's get this party started. Executive ground, November 5, 5 Lima Papa, Charlie 2, ready to taxi with uh, November. November 5, 5 Lima Papa ground, runway 9, and taxi via Charlie Echo, hold short of runway 13. Runway 9 via Charlie Echo, hold short 13, 5, 5 Lima Papa. All right, welcome aboard, everyone. This is the flight from Fort Lauderdale Executive heading over to uh, Governor's Harbor, Eleuthera, the beautiful island up in Eleuthera. We're going to have some adverse weather along the route, so it uh, should be an interesting flight. About an hour and a half in route. Executive Tower, November 5, 5, Lima Papa, Alpha 2, ready for departure. November 5, 5, Lima Papa, Executive Tower, runway 9 or at Alpha 2, line up and wait. Traffic on a two mile left face, additional traffic crossing downfield. Runway 9 or Alpha 2, line up and wait, 5, 5, Lima Papa. Okay, tower, uh, three, five, five, All right, flaps are up, mixtures, props, gear handle down. Bobo's pumps are on, anti television coming on, taxi lights coming on. Fuel's on the mains. Valve flaps are open. Clear to line up and wait. November 5 5, Lima Papa. Fly straight out, make clear the class. Charlie airspace, runway 9 or Alpha 2, clear for takeoff. Straight out, clear Charlie, clear for takeoff, runway 9 or 5 5, Lima Papa. And over eight, Charlie Tango, turn left, northwest as soon as able. Turn left, northwest, I found eight, Charlie Tango. All right, takeoff power is set. Engine gauges are in the green. Airspeed is alive. November 6034, Bravo, Roger landing traffic. I got 80 knots. 85, rotate. Fox drive, runway 9 are clear to land. Positive rate. Air up. Engine gauge is still looking good. Power 96 Tango Alpha, you want me to wait on holding Alpha 2? November 6 Tango Alpha, it'll be a full length. Full length. All right, at 500 feet, I'm going to start reducing power on the manifold and the props. There's 500, power coming back slowly. All right, just top of the grain on the manifolds. And go back on the props now. November 6, 0, 3, Perfect. Bravo, runway All right. Line up away, traffic, two mile final. Pictures will stay rich for now. Climbing up away, 6, 0, 3, 4, Bravo. Climbing out of... Number 5, 5, Leo Papa, contact Miami, 119.7, good day. Go to Miami, have a good day, 5, 5, Leo Papa.
Good morning, Miami. Uh, November 55, five, Lima Papa with you, 1000. Number 55, Lima Papa, Miami departure. Hello and good uh, afternoon. I dent to maintain VFR out of below 3000. Good morning to you and uh, below 3000 VFR, 55, five, Lima Papa. Number five, Lima Papa, radar contact two miles east of the uh, FX airport. How high do you want to climb today? 7,500 would be perfect. Five, Lima Papa. Head up here, Roger. Maintain VFR out of below 3,000. What's your encore setting? It'll be uh, 111 today. Five, five, Lima Papa. Okay, continue pressing heading. Five, Lima Papa, and I'll be back with turn on course and higher. All right, expect uh, further clearance later. Five, five, Lima Papa. Miami approach, good afternoon. Diamond Star 53 at Sierra Alpha. Star 53 Delta Alpha, my approach, good afternoon. Uh, 538 Sierra Alpha, we're at Diamond Star, we're 10 miles to the south of Pahokee at uh, 7,500 feet. Uh, Where if we can get a pop up by a fire to pop it up. All right, clear to 3,000 on runway heading for now. GA42 or a 62? Generally, it's uh, to. Uh, you're a GA42 or a 62? Us to clear uh, all the traffic going into Fort Lauderdale International and uh, Miami. So they want us to stay away from their approach. Diamond Star 538, Sierra Alpha Squawk 0156. 0156. Which is fine with me. Hit you off a correction, 0 I'd like to stay clear of traffic. 0153, it's your Alpha. Got a lot of weather to deal with today. We'll see how it goes. Took on some extra fuel. I took us up to 1,000 pounds. Just in case you got to do some deviation around the around the weather. Six o'clock, about one zero miles. Flight plan is activated. Five miles wide. You have a wonderful afternoon. Well, we're doing two five two. You have a great day. All right, a run through climb check. November five three eight zero alpha radar contact. High power is set. Mixtures are set. And cow um, flaps are open. Climb checks for complete. Now. Descend at your discretion. Expect the IFR clearance in about 15 miles. All right, Roger that. We'll descend. We'll maintain VFR, and uh, we're going to bring it down to uh, 3,500 HR uh, Alpha. Thank you. Let's go to Governor's Harbor. Above that airport. They have a little uh, back bar at the top of the hill. They're supposed to have some good food there, like uh, Bahamian food, but. Uh, Last time I went looking, I didn't find any. I just found a snack bar and I got like a Bahamian hot patty and uh, like a light soda. I think it was a Bahamian Dompe punch I got. Yeah, Miami uh, Diamond 53. It was pretty good. You know, we're direct to but I was looking for more appetizing food, you know? 643, Foster Town approach Miami altimeter is 2906, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR, 2906. Oh, I got this weather here. Got a one fly heading zero nine zero main. Don't worry about. Got to find a way through that stuff. I'll be back with the clearance momentarily. Got a one zero nine zero. Three percent of the pop watch for you. Four seven pop watch. Number five five Lima Papa Miami. Five five Lima Papa with you. Uh, currently seven thousand five hundred, and uh, I'm wanted to stay on this course for just a little while to see if I can get around, deviate around the weather here. Five Lima Papa Roger. The weather extends all the way to your two o'clock and about thirty miles. So from my radar it looks like eastbound from there and then southbound in about twenty five miles we'll get you around it quicker. Alright, so eastbound from here and then south at twenty miles. Okay, we'll try that. Five five Lima Papa, thank you. Thirty fifty six turn left heading three three zero. Left heading three three zero. 3056, once you get turned around, there's a small gap in the weather. I'll take you through there. Smooth ride reported by numerous aircraft through there. Right. Number 5, Lima Papa, contact Miami Center, 135.6, and they'll give you update information on the weather. 135.6, thank you, 5, Lima Papa. Have a good morning. 6, flighting 340, descend and maintain 7,000. Hi, sir. And um, in flighting a 080, and in about 25 miles, you'll be able to see a gap and make a right turn. 080 works for us. Thank you, Tesky 343. Good morning, uh, Miami Center, November 5, 5 Lima Papa, checking in 7,500. Number 5, 5 Lima Papa, Miami Center, I should maintain VFR, Lauderdale, Timmy to 2998. 
299-8555, Land Papa. November 47, Papa Charlie, climb and maintain for level 200. Zero, zero. Flight level 200, zero, zero, 47, Papa Charlie, traffic inside. And number 47, Papa Charlie, when you're able, rest into weather, clear direct versus. When able, direct versus 47, Papa Charlie. Alright, gonna fly eastbound for now. See if I can find a hole. There should be a gap of this wall of traffic. I mean, wall of uh, weather. 2998, I know we'll be looking for that gap. Thank you. Come on, three for that. I found a hole. Alright, we're gonna go through that hole right there. Straight ahead, 12 o'clock. It looks that's the full two size hole. We'll see what happens. Cassidy 343, common Cessna foe, two kind of hole. And Cassidy 343, um, the gap should be coming up 1 o'clock in about 60 miles when able. Once you clear the weather, clear direct Butler. We're going to slow the penetration Cassidy speed here in a second. Red Dominicana 202, climb maintain front of 230. So cruise power, manifold is set to 26. All right, mixtures, I got it at 15 and about 1480, pretty close on the EGT. Power flaps, they are closed. Propellers, they're at about 2150 on the RPMs. Auxiliary fuel pumps are off. Fuel selectors on the mains. Uh, fuel is pretty balanced, and I got about 860 pounds. Trim tabs are set. Cruise checks. Substantially to the left, avoid weather. Gear mode 001 deviation left is approved. Advising to clear away. Lunch time. welcome. So any pilots out there, any wannabe pilots or anyone about to start flight school, my advice for any pilots that's getting started or want to get started, number one is get started. Sounds simple, but uh, you'd be surprised. I fly with a lot of passengers that uh, always say that, oh man, I really wanted to do this. I wanted to fly, but... And uh, they're planning on still going and going to school, but they just don't do it. They don't schedule it. Their life is too busy. Uh, can't find the time or it's too expensive. My advice is to just get started. Don't uh, think about the excuses. Don't think about the limitation. Just start looking. Just start looking and ignore whatever is holding you back. If it's time, you'll find the time the minute you start looking. Find a flight school, start talking to an instructor. Uh, I went both uh, 141 school and 61. So uh, I did my private uh, 141 school. And then I did my uh, mint, multi, multi-commercial. All the add-ons, I did them 61 because it was cheaper and it can work along with my time better. So there are options for your time, there are also options for your budget. There are cheaper flight schools and there are cheaper ways to do it. But if you start right now going out to uh, finding the school that matches your, uh, your pretty much uh, your schedule and your budget, then uh, go ahead and schedule it. Talk with an instructor, what you're going to find is you're going to get excited. They're going to give you answers that you probably don't know exist. 
and uh, all of a sudden what seems to be impossible will start being possible. If none of this is the case for you, then by all means, also get started and uh, my advice also is to uh, make sure you have time to you have time to uh, like unwind after each flight. During uh, flight lessons, there's going to be time where you're going to have uh, overwhelmed of information, where you're going to get so much piled onto you in uh, one day or in one session that it would be hard to like understand or to take in and and process while you're flying. But after you're flying at nighttime and your evening when you're sitting down relaxing having a cold beer or whatever it is you do at night. Think about the flight, go over through in your head. Think about the procedures. If you have a flight sim, it's an excellent tool. Go back and do the flight on a flight sim. And what you're gonna find is the next day or the next flight, you're gonna nail it. They're gonna be so good because that information got retained because you went over it a second time in your mind or on the simulator. And then it all makes sense to you the following day when you uh, practice it again in the air. So I think all pretty good advice. Take your time with it. Don't worry about the budget. Don't worry about the uh, the cost. Because you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. And uh, best of luck. Get it done, man. It's a very, very rewarding job. A very rewarding career. Like, I couldn't think of anything else. Just look at this view outside. Where else, what else can you do this and get paid like really, really well? Where else can you sit down with this view and get paid the way we do? Definitely one of the best jobs out there and I couldn't help doing anything else. So, got a passion for it. You got it. It's in your blood. It's your dream you want to do. I want to see everybody get it done, man. Shortage of pilots right now, so not a bad time to get started. That's just my uh, two cents, my advice. So the company I fly for now, we do Mostly international flights into the Bahamas. Very little domestic flights, and if we do, they're Fort Lauderdale uh, to like uh, the Keys, or did one to uh, did one to the Daytona Beach area recently, Gainesville. Uh, maybe Jacksonville every now and then, or uh, uh, Tampa area. Did one at night to Tampa. That was fun. But mostly Bahamas, and I love it because hey, to get to go. I'm originally from the Bahamas, from Long Island. Ironstown, Long Island, Bahamas, and to get to go home only for like an hour or so, and when I say home, I mean the Bahamas, it's a pleasure, and oh, I mean, I enjoy it every day, it's so laid back, relaxed out here, just the islands, ocean, sunshine, and uh, a lot laid back also as far as the aviation rules, it's not a lot of control towers out here, so you're pretty much just uh, announcing your position. Makes it a little more workload because you got to be uh, careful of traffic and got to be alert. And you got runways that are probably not what you're used to flying in the U.S. But it makes it interesting, makes it challenging, makes it fun, and definitely makes it beautiful. Gorgeous islands, gorgeous beach. Sometimes you're landing right on the water. But these runways that go from ocean to ocean. You don't get that anywhere else. Oh, I love it. Love flying with this company. Fly Cessna 402s. Might be something you might want to do as well down the road. Uh, airplane I would really like to fly is like a King Air. No information. The 200s are. 250, 300s, those are really nice airplanes. I'd like to fly something turbine like that, pilot in command. Okay, we'll give them a shot, somewhere. Roger. 
That was like my journeyman airplane. Did when I was uh, looking at getting into aviation. I always dreamed about the King Air. Beautiful airplane. So it looks like I got another wall. There might be a hole through it, or I'm gonna have to go up, up above it. It doesn't look, uh, the low point looks like uh, I can get up. Maybe 9,500 and get over it. 14 minutes to Nassau, what's the pilot name? 8 minutes to Nassau, pilot name. The winds appear to be out of the south, maybe slightly southeast. So I'm going to plan to land runway 15, which is going to be a straight in. I got Naughty Luther in sight already, the runway. Clear to out over the. Clouds are clear over the airport there. So we got some build up where I'm heading. But not bad, just normal for the Bahamas. Nothing like what I had to fly through earlier. I need a boat. I need a boat. Definitely need a boat. I'm listening to some music in my headset. Listen to some. Morgan Wallen, I need a boat. I don't know if I can say that on camera. I'm not getting sponsored by Morgan. You're welcome, Morgan. All people are gonna listen to your song now. My two subscribers I got. Wait, right now I think I got like one subscriber. And that was me. So, maybe I'll go listen to it some more. That gorgeous water. Well, that's Naughty Luther. And if we can see it, uh, let's see if we can pull up the runway over there. That clearing is Naughty Luther. I don't know if you can see it. Like zooming the camera there. Oh, look at this gorgeous water. That's beautiful. Gotta have a boat. That's why Morgan Wallen said it. I need a boat. Look at that down there. Blue 13. Oh my four. word. Turn left, direct to Peach. I want to swim. Peach, Blue 1394. Beautiful. On approach to Coveners. Delta 1907, continue to descend to 1600, clear to the RNAV 14. Clear to descend 1600, clear to RNAV 14, Delta 1907. Contact the tower on R19 prior to today. Delta 1907, today. Alright, I'm gonna go 15 degrees of flaps. And speed is below 160. Power. Back to 23. Mana full. Gear down. Turning final. Mixture coming full. Props going to the top of the green. About 24 and a half RPMs. Finding lights coming on. Taxi lights coming on. Fuel pumps on low. Bending at 500 feet a minute now. We'll go flaps 30. Governor's Harbor traffic, twin Cessna, five mile final, runway 15, Governor's.
All right, we got fuel selectors on the main. Mixture to pull forward. Fuel boost is on the low. Free greens, no red. Mixtures, props. RP power looks good. Airspeed looks good. We'll hold this until short final. Time is now 12.40. Perfect timing. Well, final now. Governor's Harbor traffic. Twin Cessna's on a two-mile final. Runway 1-5. Governor's. Alright, short final and final comes check. We got gas. Alright, it's good. Our undercarriage. We got three greens, no red. Mixture. They're good. Props coming full forward. Alright, flaps going full. Power looks good for now. Roughly traffic, beach at 652 Kilo Bravo is 30 miles to the west. If that far only 7 north of the traffic. And let's check the ground speed. I'm showing 90, but I'm indicating 105. Perfect. Winds look like it's uh, slightly from my right side, too. Other traffic, Houston is uh, 34 miles to the west, 2 4,000 feet on the east end. I got a Spinchlands high, which is perfect because I can always trade the altitude for airspeed. If I lost an engine, I would have a little more altitude. Always good, right? All right, the airspeed is uh, approximately blue line right now, 104 knots. No need to touch down at the beginning of the runway because a lot of runway, empty airplane. How we touch. Look at the traffic, be sure to climb to the bottom of 5,000 feet, 20 miles to the west, inbound for only 7 or blue traffic. Alright, braking. No flaps. Flaps coming up. Window coming open. Landing lights coming off. Probes coming off. Air conditioning coming on. Charged up. Governor's Harbor traffic, Twin Cessna, clear the runway. Governor's Harbor. Thanks for flying along. Welcome to Governor's Harbor.